All right, welcome back everyone. In today's video, what we're gonna try and do is see how well some of the efficiency tips that I found online work for portable AC units, like this one I'm using here in my garage to keep things cooler from when I'm working out here in the summer. And what I came across most commonly is that the um, efficiency loss is due to this exhaust tube behind me. So portable units like these that you can roll around have an intake here on the right that takes in the hot air from the room and then runs it through the compressor coils and that's where it dumps out all the heat but the dumped heat needs to go out of the room and it travels through these hoses that are not insulated at all these plastic hoses and then they go out through your window so you have your portable air conditioner dumping out 50 degree fahrenheit air into the room but then you have this six to eight foot long non-insulated pipe that is radiating 120 degree Fahrenheit air into your living space before it makes its way out of the window. Whereas a window mount unit would just sit right here, eliminate this radiant heat source from the pipe, and then just dump that air directly out as a direct system uh, outside of your living space. So what we're gonna try and do in today's video is insulate this duct to see if that stops the radiant heat transfer into the room and make the overall system a little bit more effective in removing heat from something like your garage. So what we're gonna use is this bubble foil insulation and wrap the pipe with that in a spiral to see if insulating the duct improves the efficiency of the AC at all. So let's tear into this bag here and see what the insulation looks like. If this tests well and you wanna use this in your project, I'm gonna leave a link to this product in uh, my video description. So this is a 25 feet roll at six inches. So as you can see, the cross section is just basically an air gap between two layers of foil, which as we know, uh, air is a pretty good insulator and foil's pretty good at blocking radiant heat transfer. So we'll see how this works. And since we have the FLIR imaging of the uh, infrared heat coming off of the pipes before, we'll be able to do a good after comparison once we have this all wrapped up. So it's a pretty tight space. So I'm gonna try to do my best and kind of wrap this around and kind of tack it down here and then clean it up in a moment. I'm gonna try and overlap by about a half inch as I go to make the spiral. This probably would have been a lot easier to do if I removed the pipe off the wall, but it's very fragile at this point and it's probably gonna crack, which is not what I'm after. So I fought with this quite a bit off camera. I would definitely recommend trying to take the pipe off in your situation before you wrap it. So now with the painter's tape uh, barely holding things in place, I'm getting a good wrap going about halfway done. This would definitely be easier if you took the pipe off first, but the integrity of the plastic in my current duct is kind of dicey and I don't want to add any more kind of cracks or runs in it. So I'm leaving it in place for now and we'll uh, take off the green painter's tape in a moment and replace that with foil. So we have a nice sealed duct. So now I have a pretty good overlapping seal here down the length of the duct. And now that we've added insulation to the portable AC duct, we'll retest with the FLIR cam to see what sort of radiant heat transfer we have coming off of them now. So now we're still blowing about 54 degrees out from here, but now you can see if we look over, we have some bright spots here, but look, it's, it's 80, 81, 82. And you can see where I have gaps in my ducting. So I gotta set that up a little bit better so that that's a better joint seal there. And then uh, here at the window, we're still escaping quite a bit where I ended the insulation, but look at that. It's a lot cooler than before. So really the next thing that I would have to tackle would be just kind of maybe insulating the garage door if I wanted to, but I don't think uh, that's in the budget for now. So I hope you're able to use the information from this video to make your portable AC unit work more effectively here in this summer heat. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments section down below. Let me know how you're enjoying the videos by clicking on that like button. And as always, thanks for watching.